Welcome to the PC Pilots Jet and Plane Stunting Masterclass. In this series of videos, we will give you insight into plane and jet stunting in full detail. We're gonna start from the very basics and go towards the most pro maneuvers only a handful of people in the world can do. Who is this video for? This video is for everybody who just likes to fly in GTA 5 because we will cover easy stuff, advanced stuff and the top notch stuff. This includes fly through stuns, one wing stuns, jet hovering, backwards flying, special backwards maneuvers, reverse takeoff, one wing reverse flying, precision landings and much more. My name is Hate Me. I'm the owner of the PC Pilots crew. Our crew has been featured by Rockstar Games many, many times, and we have by far the most advanced GTA 5 stunting montages, well, jet related, on YouTube. I personally am a stunter in GTA since GTA San Andreas, and uh, been part of the stunting community pretty much since 2008 in GTA 4 and many of the current top-notch jet stunting maneuvers have been founded by me. For example, precision backwards landing, one reverse flying and much more. I have the honor to guide you through this masterclass and if you are willing to put some time into it make you a world-class jet stunter or plane stunter. Make sure to check out the description, there are some timestamps to jump in this video, also in the comment sections. If you got some more questions, you can also put them in the comment section, we will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you want an answer urgently, make sure to join our Discord server. The Discord server link is on our website, which you can, be, uh, which you can find in the description. Without further ado, let's jump into this episode. In the first episode, we will cover community rules. Before we go into the practical stuff, I think that's really important and we have a masterclass. That means I will give you everything you need. Then we're gonna jump into the basics, talk about input devices and steering. Also, we're gonna mainly focus today on plane stunts such as fly-through stunts, inverted and also normal flight. That will be enough for this episode, but we will give you the next episode very soon. So make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell. So let's go. Before we jump into the practical part of our first episode, we're gonna have a look at the stunting community rules. There are just a couple of things I want to talk about in this section. So first of all, make sure to not copy other people's stunts for YouTube videos without crediting them. It's really, really, really bad behavior. If you want to be part of the stunting community, make sure you do that. Give people credit for what they found. Give them credit for what they had the idea first. That is really important. If you do a modification of a stunt, that is fine, but um, it doesn't have to be too similar. Otherwise, you will get problems with other people. There's already enough toxicity in the GTA stunting community or in the GTA community in general. Stunting community in comparison to the rest is actually very chill. But make sure you give credit. Super important. That's already everything I want to cover. Make sure do not copy and if you do, it's bad behavior. There are a couple of questions that we get asked almost daily. One of them is, what do we play with? Controller, flight stick or keyboard? And the short answer is, most of us play with controller. And for a reason. Because it's nearly impossible to be as accurate with a keyboard than with the controller. And the flight stick is extremely hard to set up and the extreme complexity of the stunts we do regarding inputs doesn't really uh, match for a flight stick or even hotters. So that's why we all use controller. Let's jump into the practical part. Today we're gonna look 
and fly through stunts using planes. The easiest way to practice and learn those is to just jump into a race, either custom made by yourself or a Rockstar created one where you can fly planes in. For today I will be using the Alpha Z1, but you can use whatever plane you want, pretty much at least, And um, but I rec recommend the Alpha Z1 or the Mallard. I'm in first person in the Alpha Z1 now. You're not gonna do any stunts in first person in this video or pretty much in general because if if I was about to record it with Rockstar uh, editor then I wouldn't be able to edit the camera. But for the purpose of understanding steering I'm gonna show it to you. You should do it too because here you can see your flight stick moving so every controller has a dead zone and uh, you can find your dead zones by slightly moving your left stick very very slightly if you see the stick moving you found it you found the end of your dead zone dead zone is where you, the stick uh, the movement of your stick doesn't actually make any movement in the game you really got to find the edge to it and get a feeling for it because you need to be extremely gently in jet and plane stunting on the stick if you want to be gently with your rudders, you gotta tap L, B, R, B, or L1 and R1 very quickly to steer that. For the first flight through stunt, we're gonna fly through the tunnel in front of us. Here's the material in slow motion of me flying through the tunnel. What I did, I adjusted my altitude and the space between left and right wall before I thread through the tunnel and now I mainly focus on my rudders to do the curve because over excessive movement on the left stick mostly make you fail a stunt. I'm gonna show you an unclean version of the stunt now. Here I am not as gentle on the left stick and I didn't align properly when I first got into the stunt. And once you start going up and down, it's hard to stop doing it. So here you see that's an unclean variant. You can also do these stunts inverted. It's pretty much the same, except that it feels a little bit confusing. And also on most planes, you gotta also move your left stick a bit forward because otherwise you will be falling down. So you gotta have a slight input on the lift stick forward in the Alpha Z1 and most other planes too. In the next stunt we're gonna fly a knife flight through a gap. To do that you just need to hold your rudder button to maintain your jet in an upright position during the flight. Make sure that you don't overdo it though because some planes and jets actually can move upwards by you doing that. So make sure you tap it, if that's the case. With knife flight stunts, you can actually fly through many, many, many gaps in the whole map. And there's some spots where you can actually fly through objects that have no collision, such as that. The most important thing to rem remember in this type of stunts is to actually be gentle on your controls. I cannot say it enough. Be gentle. You can see in this close-up of the back of my plane how slight my inputs are to thread through this gap. The last technical aspect I would like to feature in this first of many videos is the RPM slowing down. Pretty much in general, the, if, you, if you hit it done very fast going forward, it's usually more impressive than doing it slowly, except you're doing it with many other people together. And right now I'm first person again with the Alpha Z1, and you can actually see on the RPM on the right, where it's red, yellow, and green. You should get a feeling for how much you can throttle down without turning your engine off, because if you hit the brakes, you will completely turn off your engine if you hold it 
but if you do not press it down completely, you can see on your right how your RPM meter is going down. If you manage to hold it close to the green area, you're pretty much the, as low as possible. There's many other planes we, who, which also have something like that, so you can check it. But I find it to be the easiest with the Alpha Z1. That covers already everything in the first episode. Next episode we will include one wing flying and also the jet hover technique. And I do not mean jet hovering like the Hydra, I mean flying as slow as somebody can walk with any of the jets and even some of the planes. I hope you enjoyed this episode and you're looking forward to the next one. Please also make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you liked the video and it helped you because that helps us in return and these videos take a lot of effort and time to make. Thank you. Take care. See you in the skies. Bye bye.